Am I the butthole for not punishing or reporting student? I am a teacher. A parent sent me screenshots of her daughter's text messages. A student of mine who is a boy, 13 male, had texted a girl who is also my student, 13 female. This was the conversation, boy, hey, it's boy's name. I really like you. Girl, um, what do you mean? Boy, I have a crush on you. Do you want to maybe date? Girl, no I don't like you sorry. Boy, oh okay. This was the extent of his pursuit of her. The mother said they are way too young to date and said that this was harassment. She wanted me to punish or report the boy and remove him from the class. I told her those demands are ridiculous, it wasn't harassment because he accepted her saying no, and that it's fairly common middle school stuff. She was pissed and said I need to do my job. NTA the only one doing any harassment here is the mom. Agreed, but I'd loop a head teacher or even the principal in on an email chain with the screenshot. Better safe than sorry when dealing with crazy parents. Definitely this. You do not want the crazy parent to be the first one talking to your admin about an issue. Exactly, last thing original poster needs is this mom going around saying original poster is complicit in a boy harassing her daughter. Uck. I see what you mean but I am so afraid this will start a snowball and this poor boy ends up expelled because every person along the chain is scared to stand up and say stop. I'm worried about that too, but the chances of that are way slimmer than a creepy boy getting away with being creepy. No one is going to expel this boy, that's not at all realistic. From what I remember of middle school, plenty of boys got away with actual harassment so odds this kid gets in trouble are minuscule. Original poster should definitely let her admin know what's going on and shouldn't be afraid to do so. My aunt is like this parent. A girl approached her son asking him to be her valentines and she reported the girl for sexual harassment to the school admin. My cousin is 13 and this girl was 12. Parents like this end up with kids that move far away from home and go no contact. There was an 8-year-old girl that got suspended recently for telling another girl that she liked her. It's disgusting how schools fail to protect their students' beliefs and gender identities. Really depends on where you live. I'm a school SLP in Oregon, in the Willamette Valley, and this would be unheard of. My school district is very progressive and not scared of bigoted parents. I think I read that. She didn't get suspended. She was expelled. And her brother was too. It was a Christian school. A friend of mine had a son in Head Start. He hugged a little girl in his class and got suspended. That was super close to my hometown. The school is a private Christian school. They are defending her expulsion by saying it goes against the school's handbook. In the scenario you're mentioning, the student was expelled due to the school's anti-LGBT stance. Web link. Still, it's ridiculous. Can confirm. My mom was like this and I don't speak to her anymore. What's a head teacher? Is that a British thing? Like a department head. Amount of authority slash responsibility of a head teacher really varies district to district. But they usually tend at a minimum to be pretty experienced, so they'd know whether or not to pass it up the liability chain of admin. Edit, I have been corrected by my British counterparts. Head teacher is the principal across the pond. Something like this however really shouldn't be taken to the principal though. Others should know though. Document the instance and make sure whoever the equivalent of a department head is, is aware for liability purposes. Ah. Makes sense. So it goes head teacher then principal? Head teacher is the equivalent of a principal. Not in the US, my mom has a department head, then her vice principal, then the principal. I would let all three know to be honest, better safe than sorry. That's a different thing though. We have the department heads of the local academy slash area, then the head, then the deputy head. The principal is the equivalent of the head teacher. And honestly, I just email my reply saying I won't, giving a reason why, then CC them in so they can see it all. No, head teacher is the principal. The head of all the teachers. This right here. I'm a high school teacher and I've taught middle school as well. This is not harassment. Honestly, 
Any admin worth their paycheck would agree. At this point original poster needs to forward it up the chain because this is way above their pay grade. Also to that mom, laughing out loud you have no idea how bad this kind of thing can get. Sit the F down, get your panties out of a bunch, and shut the hell up. Remember when we used to pass notes like that, and they'd get intercepted, and thrown away? Now it's via text, and it's harassment? Mom needs a refresher on what kids do when they like someone. Ha ha yes, crying face. Teacher here. First, NTA. Second, all communication with this parent about this issue regarding this kid should be done by email, and it also should cc the principal, or whoever is in charge of discipline slash student affairs. I'd also go so far as to see if the two students share any other classes together and notify those teachers as well. This does two things. First, it's see you when it comes to the parent saying you did nothing, no, you did do something by including all other vested parties in on the email so they know about the issue as well. Second, it creates a paper trail slash documentation so that if she ever goes to level that crap of crazy, to the point where everyone has to meet, or worse, with lawyers, you have a clear case of not only handling the issue, but notifying other teachers slash admin about it so they can do something as well if they see things get bad on their end. Also, using the modern language of the day, the boy asked for her consent to date, she said no, and he left it at that, thus respecting her decision. Exactly not the butthole he respected her boundary and that was the end of the conversation that is not harassment. I feel bad for the poor kid. He took middle school rejection on the chin and this lady is trying to embarrass him all over again. She's a butthole. It's not like being reported for asking a girl out nicely and accepting her response at such an impressionable age will cause him any lasting hang-ups when it comes to women and dating or anything. Nope. No, sir. If she wants to continue this route I'd suggest original poster involve the son's parents based on the fact that a parent is asking him slash her to harass their child. If she wants to make it a huge crap show, the people in his favor need to be involved. I cannot even imagine the embarrassment both of these kids will feel at the hands of this thick-headed woman. I feel like parents like this have wholly forgotten what it's like to be their kids' ages. Middle school is so goddamned brutal. You couldn't pay me enough to do it again. At least this boy has someone in his corner. I feel my middle school embarrassed self reading this crap and it's horrible. I'm confident and beautiful now and I just feel sick thinking about being in that ugly duckling phase 9 tenths of us go through. To have some butthole mom doing this crap? I am not a violent person. But honestly, if I got a call from my child's school that a effing parent were contributing to my kids emotional distress in one of the most turbulent times of their life? I'd see red. I'd be ready to break her effing arm so she could stop sending stupid emails. I wish that man I interact with as a effing adult could accept no. Or a effing hint the way this kid did. F her. I'm more than three decades removed from middle school and I still feel a surge of embarrassment when thinking back to certain moments, like the time I saved up my allowance to buy a boy I'd liked all year a name keychain as a gift for the last day of school, only to have him laugh at me and throw it in the trash in front of everyone. Maybe this woman was one of the popular girls, or maybe she thinks this boy is beneath her daughter, but she's effing tone deaf and mean. NTA, I mean come on, who didn't ask each other out in their teens? The boy accepted the no, end of. If he kept pursuing, different story but still not sure what you as a teacher could do if it's out of school. NTA and yeah I'm not sure what school has to do with any of this. If this harassment happened at school and it was actually serious then sure. If every man in the world handled the rejection as well this boy world be a better place to be honest. That was my exact thought. This kid is alright and he simply accepting her saying no is something that should be encouraged. For real this girl said no. Communication was clear. This is exactly what words are for. My school administrators followed kids after school to catch them smoking weed and I honestly just laughed at them in their cars. After school, in public, a vice principal is just a citizen. You can't punish kids for crap after they leave school. Honestly school administrators get so power hungry sometimes it's absurd. Years after I left, my middle school administration all got fired, like vice principal and a few other staff members, because they tried to set up a sting operation using a middle school informant as someone working undercover. 
They gave this middle school kid money and I guess a wire or something and had him try to buy drugs from another kid to catch them and expel them or something. Well I think parent S, found out and reported them to the police and they got transferred, should have been arrested. Definitely NTA. But the rejection does remind me of a time in middle school where a boy I like, who's a year older, asked me out because the girl he likes told him to date me for a day, like he literally do it because that girl pitied me for some reason and she refused to date him unless he asked me out for a day and I got crushed when I found out about it. I have a teacher who I'm closed with in middle school and said teacher consoled me when it happened and it helps a lot. For op, you're definitely doing the right thing by not doing anything, at least you prevent a parent from ruining your student's life, and if he ever found out about the mom's threat he'll be grateful that you've got his back covered. I feel bad for the girl though, her mom is so controlling. I had something slightly related happen to me. When I was 14 or so, a girl in my class, Simone, took pity on an unpopular girl and demanded that I take that girl out on a date. No idea why she picked on me, there was no reciprocal deal. I wouldn't have dated either of them to be honest, but I went through with it because Simone's much older brother threatened to shoot me dead if I didn't. Jokes on them though, the unpopular girl was an absolute sweetheart and we had a nice time together even though we were in no way compatible. Having fulfilled our respective obligation we parted ways as friends. F you Simone, and your low-rent butthole crack dealing brother. And Anna, I hope that these 30 odd years later you're doing well, you wonderful person. Plot twist, Anna hired them both to blackmail you into dating her and never said anything. I also had something similar happen to me in 7th grade. He was in 8th grade and I knew he had a girlfriend. For whatever reason he asked me out. We never talked or had classes together. As far as I knew, he didn't know I existed. We had a class next to each other, I asked about his girlfriend and he told me they broke up. I agreed to date him. Then later O saw him with his girlfriend. He never talked to him again. I don't know why he did that. Boys that do that are buttholes. I had something like that happen to me too. In 7th grade, so I was 12, I had no friends and was really happy when a new boy transferred into my school without knowing what a bratty weirdo I had been throughout elementary school, finally gained some self-awareness and started to improve in 6th grade. We sat next to each other in class and talked to each other constantly. I started to crush on him big time and worked up the courage to ask him to a school dance. To my surprise he said yes, we had a blast, and started dating after. And that's how I had my first boyfriend before my first real friend lol. It actually lasted a long time for our age, six months, though we didn't see each other much over summer break. But when we went back to school, some girls I barely talked to came up to me giggling and asked how I felt when he asked me to the dance. I was the one who asked him, so I was confused and asked what they meant. Apparently people had noticed we were chummy, were teasing him for hanging out with a weirdo like me, and dared him to ask me to the dance. Not in like a whoa dude she's into you, you should totally ask her out way but more of a mean ha 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 it would be so funny way. Apparently all of the other kids were in on it. I was mortified, I felt like the relationship was built on a lie and built it up in my head that he never really liked me and our whole relationship was a joke to him and the whole school. I panicked and broke up with him over the phone without explaining anything, never spoke to him again at school, and soon he moved away. Looking back I think I was wrong to assume that everything was a lie, he wouldn't have stayed with me for 6 months unless he actually liked me back. If anything the fact that he went out with me despite being teased for it shows that he really did like me a lot. But before that one of my bullies would ask me out almost every day, I knew he was just being mean so I said no every time, and laughed in my face when I finally said yes just to shut him up, so at the time it felt very believable that it was all just a cruel joke. Now, there are a couple of examples of harassment, I hate bullies. Sorry you had to deal with that when you were younger. I too feel bad for the girl. Could you imagine if the teacher did get the boy in trouble, and he tells everyone not to ask the girl out because they'll get in trouble and then that poor girl won't ever get to date in that school slash area. I would be so embarrassed by my mom I'd probably tell the boy my mom said no and we should date anyways, embarrassed smiley face. Agreed. The only appropriate thing that the teacher could do is try to verify that it went no further than the texts. Punishing this kid for texts alone is ridiculous. Not the butthole. If he kept pursuing, different story but still not sure what you as a teacher could do if it's out of school. If it adversely affects the learning environment, 
then it is still the school's duty to address it. To be clear, this case is not harassment, but in situations that are, it didn't happen at school is not a defense. He gracefully accepted the no too, like no secondary comment, no subtle guilt trip messages etc. I didn't have that kind of grace at 13. Good for him. There is some things a school can do about aggressive romantic pursuits with unwilling students. First, I just want to make clear that I don't think the mother complaint qualifies harassment, as showing interest alone doesn't equal harassment. But in a scenario where a student was obsessively pursuing another, the school could do two really helpful things, advise the mother of the target students to block communication between the two, social media, phone, and to ensure separation in classes and break periods to avoid chance of collision. At the very least the school could ensure distance and seating arrangement, and supervisors are aware of the conflict between the two should intervention be needed. This only really becomes challenging for small schools, but there's still steps a school can take to lessen opportunities for harassment. TLDR, a school can handle this the same way it handles two kids who fight all the time, maximize distance and prepare to separate. Again Op's story doesn't warrant a response like this. Also since when is a parent showing you a picture evidence of anything? Even if the screenshot showed the boy calling her daughter names or something worse, how does original poster know that he slash she can trust the mother's evidence? Text exchanges can be doctored and I hope original poster would consult both sides before punishing anyone if original poster even has authority to punish kids for things unrelated to school. I didn't. But agreed, not the butthole. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.